So these are the two pencil cases I'm currently using. This checkered Korean style pencil case is the one that I use as my main one and then this milk carton one I use for travels. I've been using both since August and honestly I don't have any complaints so far even though they were pretty cheap on AliExpress so I'm pretty happy with them and I'm probably going to keep using them for the rest of the year. All right, so let's get into my main pencil case. So when you open it up, it has this foldable compartment that opens up in the front. And in that compartment, I have brush pens, usually of the same color scheme so that they match. So right now I have these three stationary island brush pens, and I also have this light blue mild liner brush pen. So I have quite a few items in this main compartment area and also there are these two flaps in the back which are pretty convenient to put smaller items as well. But in the main compartment, the first thing you'll find are these glitter gel pens and I actually really like them and I'm planning to use them for doodles and just to spice up my notes. But yeah, I decided to keep them in their original packaging just so that it's easier for me to get them out and not have them all over the place in my pencil case and and messy. So the next item I have is this Uniball Signo white pen and I use it primarily for my hand lettering and the titles of my notes just to spice them up and make them look prettier. I also have this Papermate Ink Joy Gel Pen in 0.5 and this Stadler Tri Plus Fine Liner for my main black notes and I really like both of them so I tend to alternate between one and the other. So next you'll find this Japan Material Sipa Pen. I'm not really sure if it's called Sipa or Sipa but it's pretty much just this calligraphy pen and I also got it on AliExpress and for pretty cheap and I really like the quality. It's probably one of my favorite calligraphy pens just for black calligraphy. So I always bring a pencil with me, but I honestly don't really use pencils very much. I've been using this Tull 0.7 pencil that I've actually had for over three years. Next, I have a Stablo mini highlighter just to do some highlighting and also it's just very small so it's very convenient. So in the actual flaps of the pencil case, I have this correction tape that, but so far I haven't really had to use it too often. And then in the other flap, I have these sticky notes, which I've also realized that I don't really use sticky notes nearly as much as I thought I do. So I've only gone through around half of these the past six-ish months. And then finally, I have these paper flags, which I actually use paper flags a lot, so I definitely wanna have them in my pencil case. So now on to my travel pencil case. It's definitely smaller and more convenient to just slide into your purse or into your travel bag. So in my travel pencil case, you will find these Stabilo fine liners that I use for my main notes. I have another Uniball Signo pen, white pen, for my highlighter, I use this Stablo Swing Cool highlighter since it just fits really nicely into the pencil case. I have two Stationery Island brush pens for my headers. And then I have this Muji pencil since you never know when you need a pencil. And that's it! I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting. This is my updated what's in my pencil case for the beginning of the new year. But yeah, that's all I have for today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye!